Well, good evening, good evening to all pro wrestling fans from all around the world of all shapes and sizes. Welcome to another Pro Wrestling Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ, Jason Ingram. So, great news. Those that have been keeping up with me know that a while back, a good while back near the beginning of this month, I had done a preview of the Colors Spark Joshi collaboration show called Kawai Shimai. And I actually just got a chance to watch the show thanks to Spark Joshi Poresu. Joshi Plus is now a thing, which is pretty much their streaming service. And they recently announced it on their social media, actually, um, that this is now their streaming service. And they had the VOD up and available to watch. That's right. The Colors Spark Joshi Kawaii Shimai show is now available on joshiplus.com. Uh, pretty much, you got to log in, make a make an account. And they also have some other shows on there as well. Like they also have the Ignite East 2023 as well as the Ignite West 2023 show. And as a matter of fact, they have each of the matches uh, separately. You can actually purchase each match separately. Um, it's about two bucks each. Uh, the Kawaii Shimai show is uh, 20 bucks. And like I said, looks like this is their new streaming service, which I'm guessing it's not really a subscription service, but it looks like going forward, any Spark shows are going to be on this site and I guess will be available to purchase. I don't know if they're going to do uh, live streaming for their future shows. Maybe. We'll see. But the platform is up. It's called Joshi Plus. I'll put a link in the description to it and you can check it out for yourselves. But before I get to the review, I want to remind everybody to be sure to check out Game Beauty, uh, link to that is in the description as well. If you want to check out some awesome video game themed makeup and cosmetic products, and if you plan to make a purchase, don't forget to use that promo code BLITZBALL underscore CHAMP, all in caps, and you get 10% off of your order. So, happy shopping, don't forget to use that discount. So, on to the review. So, originally this show happened on June 5th, June 5th of 2024. This was at the Shinkaba First Ring venue um, in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, definitely a lot of shows done here, whether it's Colors, whether it's, I know Ice Ribbon has done dojo shows here, um, Evolution, uh, where else, Diana, uh, Women's Pro World Wrestling Diana. So, it's a pretty well-known uh, venue. Uh, marvelous. Marvelous as well. But anyway, June 5th was when this show took place. And there were only five matches. There were only five matches total. They had a, they had a little performance at the beginning of the show, which was, you know, which was kind of neat. But not only that, they also had subtitles. Whenever they were doing uh, promos and such, uh, there were subtitles. So I thought that was pretty neat. But anyway, let's get on to the matches. Starting off with the first match. Oh, hold on a second. I hit the wrong button. That's what I meant to do. Sorry about that. Okay. First match, we had ourselves a tag match. We had the team of 321 Chan and Winnie the Pa 
taking on the team of Kaori Yonayama and Kakeru Sekiguchi. Now, in all honesty, I got to I got to keep it real. I got to keep it real. I know this was mainly a comedy match. I figured this was going to be a comedy match. But I got to I got to be honest with y'all. This match was kind of boring. Like I know it was supposed to be silly, especially with the folks in it, but to be honest, it was it was pretty boring. It was kind of a letdown. You know, I don't I don't mind comedy matches here and there. I mean, I like Gato Move for crying out loud, and they're full of uh, comedy matches. But yeah, this one just it really wasn't that entertaining. It wasn't entertaining at all, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, I wasn't feeling it. I I really wasn't feeling it. Maybe, maybe it's just me, but yeah, this match just wasn't that enjoyable. I mean, I felt like it tried too hard to be silly. You know, they were, you know, the opposing team kept trying to steal Winnie the Winnie the Paws honey, and yeah, I I I don't know. It just it wasn't that entertaining. It was it was pretty boring to be honest. I it was hard for me to. To really be, be into the match. To keep it real with y'all. But um, Kakeru. Uh, pinned Winnie the Paw. With kind of like a crucifix roll up. For the 1-2-3. And Kari Onayama. Kakeru Sekiguchi. Picked up the victory. But yeah. To keep it real with y'all. It was a boring match. Alright. Let's move on. To the next match. I don't, know, I don't know why my buttons aren't working. Huh, I'll have to fix that. Anyway. So next match, we had a triple threat. We had Sakuran Bonita versus Kaho Kobayashi versus Emi Sakura. Now, this match was definitely better. Definitely better. Um... This was my first time seeing Sakuran Bonita. Um, I don't know what her real identity is, but this was my first time seeing her in action. Uh, it was really cool seeing Kaho Kobayashi in this match, as well as Emi Sakura, which, you know, I've met Emi Sakura multiple times. She's awesome. Um, overall, pretty solid match. I can't say it was anything too crazy. Nothing really too crazy, but... You know, I like what I saw out of these three, these three ladies in this match. And, you know, I was, part of me was starting to pull for Kaho Kobayashi, but I figured uh, who ended up winning was going to win. And sure enough, that's how it went down. Uh, Emi Sakura uh, was able to pin Kaho Kobayashi with a La Magistral or a Magistral Cradle for the one, two, three. Uh, Emi Sakura, your winner in this uh, three-way, this triple threat match but uh yeah it was definitely a much better match than the first match that's for sure so at least there's that all right let's go on to our next match all right next match all right had ourselves a tag match we had the team of ram kaicho and sumiri natsu Taking on the team of Yuko Sakurai and Misa Kagura. Uh, pretty decent match as well. Uh, definitely a good dose of comedy in this match as well, especially coming from Ram Kaicho and Sumeri Natsu. Uh, she did end up getting the, the, the Bronco Buster off on Yuko Sakurai, which was pretty hilarious. But overall, this was this was a pretty decent match. Um, I definitely like the pairing of Yuko Sakurai and Misa Kagura. I think that was a really strong pairing. And to be honest with you, the the finish I didn't really expect. Didn't really expect the the finish, but Ram Kaicho 
actually ended up getting the pin on Yuko Sakurai after connecting with the La, with the La Cilia, which is kind of like a diving hip drop that she that she got onto Yuko Sakurai and then made the one, two, three pin. Ram Kaicho, Samiri Natsu are your winners. Did not expect that finish, to be honest with you. Did not expect that one bit. Alrighty. Now, let's go into some championship matches. So there were two title matches on this show. So let's go into the first one. I was really surprised that this wasn't the main event because I, I assumed that this title is the promotion's top title, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, the Spark Joshi World Championship was on the line. As the champion, Starlight Kid, defended against the, the bubbly one, <laughs> Momoka Hanazono. Uh, I have to say this was this was probably my favorite match of the card. Uh, it just doesn't say a whole lot, but this was this match was pretty entertaining. Uh, like I said, I like Momoka Hanazono. She does a good combination of comedy and with her wrestling. So I like what I saw with her against Starlight Kid. And you know, Momoka Hanazono is somebody that's made a couple of appearances, had a couple of matches. And a stardom ring anyways, especially through new through the New Blood shows and other shows as well. So, um, but yeah, this was a good match overall. Um, definitely enjoyable. I thought the best on the card. But Starlight Kid was able to pick up the victory. She actually got herself a submission victory, locking in that numero dos on Momoka Hanazono, which she showed a lot of fighting spirit to try her best to to withstand it and work the first time, but then once Starlight Kid got that got her leg around her around her head and neck, that was that was pretty much it. Uh, she had no choice but to to submit. But good match. Overall good match. Starlight Kid is still your Spark Joshi world champion. So congratulations to her on a successful defense. And then the main event of the Colors Spark Kawaii Shimai collaboration show. Alrighty, we had the Spark Joshi Atlantic Championship on the line. As the champion, Saki defended against Sumi Sakai. Overall, pretty good match. Uh, definitely, it's good to see Sumi Sakai again, which, you know, she's continuing to wrestle and train. Like I said, there's no telling if she ever will retire. But, hey, she can keep going if she wants. I like her. I've met her. So, she can, she can do her thing. But, yeah, uh, enjoyed this match. I know there was some interference throughout this match from Emi Sakura as well. Of course, we know Sumi Sakai is part of the Extinguish uh, stable and Spark. But this was a nice back and forth match. And even with the interference from uh, Emi Sakura, it still wasn't enough. Saki was eventually able to get the pin on Sumi Sakai after hitting a uh, diving knee drop from the top turnbuckle. Saki, still your Spark Joshi Atlantic champion. And even after the match, she had also mentioned that she would like to challenge Emi Sakura one-on-one -on -one and perhaps even put the title on the line. So that's something that we could see uh, in the next show, which Saki confirmed that the next Spark show will be back in America. So... Uh, got that to look forward to. Don't know when that's going to happen, but, you know, it's it's coming eventually. It's coming eventually. But, overall, the show was okay. I mean, 
Did I think it was worth the 20 bucks? Not really. But I try my best that whatever shows I preview, I end up watching and reviewing. That's the thing that I try to do consistently. Regardless of how good, bad, terrible the show is, if I end up previewing it, I will end up watching it and reviewing it. It's the least I can do, right? So, but yeah, show is okay. Show is okay. I mean, it definitely could have been a lot better. I mean, I enjoyed Spark uh, Joshi Trailblaze uh, in Philly. That was that was a good show. I enjoyed that show. I felt like that show was definitely better than than this one. But to be honest with y'all, I kind of expected a little more, especially with this being a collaboration show between Colors and Spark. But I figured this was just their way of finally having a Spark show in Japan. You know, I figured it was I figured it was coming. But but I mean, hey, they got their streaming service up now. Uh, joshiplus.com so I mean that's a plus right but you know it is kind of a bummer that Spark Joshi Trailblaze 2024 wasn't in their library which I know Triller TV uh, had the license to it but it makes me wonder if they're going to try to get the license to, to have it have the archive on their site as well because my thing is if they're going to do that they should be able to have all of their shows on this joshiplus.com stream streaming service you know what i mean so and like i said i don't know if they're ever going to do a streaming like a subscription it's looking like probably not but it is what it is it is what it is but yeah the show is okay I mean, that's that's really all I can say that's all I can say anyway uh, that'll do it for this review um, don't forget to check out game beauty when you have the chance and also well let me know what y'all's thoughts are uh, did you see the show did you invest in Joshi plus.com what do you think of the the service and if you saw the show, saw them, you're like, what did you think of the matches? Did you like the show? Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. For another Pro Wrestling Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the 2. My name is Jason Ingram. Hope you all have a blessed evening and blessed day tomorrow. And I will see you all in the next video and or live stream. Peace out.